All right, so the goal of today's video is to store and then test encrypted values in a table in our database. So I've started with a fresh Laravel project. I just did Laravel new, everything's set up. I have a, a uh, app key set up and ready to go. My test URL, which we won't even hit in this video. And then I have my database created, but I have not migrated yet. So the first thing I wanna do is go to the users table and we're just gonna pretend that we need to store a secret value on the users table. So we'll create a new string and we'll call it secret value. We could actually even create a text if it's gonna be a, a bit bigger. So we have secret value as a new column on the users table and we can go ahead then and call migrate. So now we've created our tables, everything should be good to go. We'll come into table plus, we'll refresh, we'll see users with secret value ready to go, perfect. Next thing we wanna do is hit the users model and add secret value as fillable so that we can use mass assignment. And then the next thing we wanna do is just test that we can make sure that we can create a user with a secret value. So for that, I'm going to use Tinkerwell and just quickly fire up a factory to make a new user and fill in a secret value of testing. Of testing, there we go. Do that, run it. Good to go, we see secret value of testing, double check the database, secret value is testing. So the next step now is we wanna make sure that this value is always encrypted. So we're going to actually hit up GitHub and find the Cyclebot encryptable repo and copy the install command, which is compose or require Cyclebot encryptable. And we're gonna paste that in. It's been installed already on my project, so we're good to go. Clear that out. So now we want to actually use that trait. So the encryptable package um, exposes an encryptable trait for us, which we can use on our models. So first we import the trait, and then second we define which columns are considered encryptable. So we make a new protected property called encryptable, and that'll be an array of columns. In our case, there's only one. So we pass in secret value. And now what this tells um, encryptable is that anytime you save this model, make sure that the secret value is encrypted. And anytime you pull this model from the database, make sure to decrypt it. And it'll do the encrypting via Laravel's default encrypt and decrypt methods. All right, so now if we go back and hit Tinkerwell again, we run this again, we can see that our secret value is now some encrypted giant string. Hit the database, same thing. So testing now becomes this encrypted string. And just to confirm that it is using Laravel's default, we can do decrypt, pass into the string, and we should get testing on the other side. Perfect. And then just so everyone's clear that this is using Laravel's um, encrypt functionality, which does use your app key. So if your app key does, does change, you'll lose the ability to decrypt any encrypted values with that previous key. So if we do art key generate, we'll get a new key. Can that give us a new key? Yep, we'll get a new key and then we'll hit up here and the Mac is invalid because it's encrypted with a different key. So now we've lost the ability to decrypt this value. So heads up as you implement this. So we're gonna truncate user so we can start fresh. Okay, so now again, we can go back and create another user, make sure everything's working still. Good to go, perfect. So now you can encrypt and decrypt. And just to prove that we can decrypt fine, what we're gonna do is hop over back to Tinkerwell and just pull this user from the database. So the key here with the encryptable package is that when it pulls the model, um, the decryption doesn't happen, but when you access the encrypted column, that's when it happens. So if you're just to pull the user, you can still see that secret value in the user object is encrypted. But when you access that property, so we go in and grab secret value, it's decrypted. And then also if you um, serialize it to JSON, uh, that technically will access the property, so it'll become decrypted as well there. Okay, so that's all we have to do in Tinkerwell. Everything else we're gonna do via tests. So now that we have encrypted values stored, we need to make sure that they're actually encrypted via tests. So we're going to close the environment file, close all these folders and open a new test. I'm gonna copy example test and call it 
uh, user secret value test. User, come on, user secret value test. Okay, we are going to use the refresh database trait. And our test name will become something like a test stores secret value as encrypted. Encrypted. Okay. So the first thing we want to do with our test is make a new user using the factory. And we'll give it uh, an email and a name and a secret value. Email can be test at test.com. Secret value can be testing. Okay, so we've created a user, so we'll put that under a given. And given we have a user created, what we want to do then is assert. We're going to make two assertions. First, we're going to assert that the secret value that I cannot find this user given test.test.com and given testing. If we can find that user via those two values, that means we're not encrypted. So assert database missing users. And we're going to look for email. We're just going to look for actually these two things. Okay, so we create a user with test at test.com, secret value is testing, and then we ensure that we cannot find that user via those values. So I'll run this test, good to go, passes. However, that doesn't really con confirm that it is encrypted, that just means we can't find it via these values. It could be stored as testing one, and the test would still pass. All right, so now the next step is make, to make an assertion that confirms that the value stored encrypted in our table. So what we're going to do is pull in a second package called OC Software Laravel Assert Encrypted, which actually I wrote. And all this package does is it gives you an extra assertion method to help you assert encrypted data in your table. So how it works is you say insert encrypted, you give it the table, you say look for this identifier or some sort of logic to find the row. And then once we found that row, we say ensure that this data is the encrypted data. And you can pass multiple key values for both the lookup and the assertion data. So let's give this an install here. And it's already been installed in my project, but just to confirm, everything is good. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to use the assert encrypted trait that the package provides. And by doing that, we'll have an extra method called assert encrypted. And you'll also see that there's one for encrypted serialized, which is the default. And then there's encrypted unserialized if you've stored uh, an unserialized encrypted value. But by default, if you just use Laravel, if you use the package, the encryptable package, like we're doing in the video, it'll be serialized. Or if you use the encrypt helper, it'll be serialized as well, as long as you pass that second parameter that you see there as true, which is the default. So we'll do this, assert encrypted. We're going to look on the users table, which is the first argument. And we're going to say, find the user with an email of test at test.com. And then in the third argument, we're going to say, we should ensure that secret value is testing when it's decrypted. So now we can run this again. We'll clear this out, run our test, and we pass. Two assertions, one, two. So we first assert that we can't find it with the plain text value, and then we do assert that we can find it with the encrypted value of testing. All right, so as a quick recap, we can store and retrieve encrypted values using the Cyclebot encryptable package, and then we can further test that data with the OC software Laravel assert encrypted package, which gives us the helper methods to assert encrypted values in our table. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti. As always, there will be a text version of this video on my website. I'll post a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching.